hi there. I'm so glad you came by today. I got a question I'd like to ask you. Do you use gospel tracts? You don't? Well, why not? God uses gospel tracts. As a matter of fact, now that you've come by, let's go in my office. I have a true testimony that I'd like to share with you, and you are really going to be amazed by this testimony. So let's go in the office, and y'all have a seat, okay? Okay, now you got your seat, and you're all ready to listen. The testimony I'm about to share is included in this little book, Tips for Tracks, a very practical help on how to use gospel tracks. And this particular testimony, some of you may have heard before, and others, well, it might not be something you've come across, but it's a true story. And I believe you're going to really find it to be interesting. So sit back and then listen as I, I share this. It'll take a couple minutes, but you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. This is the testimony, a true testimony again, I remind you, of a Japanese man who finds peace. It was still early on the morning of December 7th, 1941, when 183 Japanese planes left American warships burning in Pearl Harbor. In the skies above, the air commander of the Japanese strike force was safely flying back to his ship to revel in the overwhelming victory. The commander's name was Mitsuo Fuchida. Fuchida was a Japanese pilot who shouted, Tora! 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 as the Pearl Harbor was attacked. After the war, Mitsuo was so troubled by the strife that had led to the bombing of Pearl Harbor that he wrote a book entitled, No More Pearl Harbors. It was a warning and a plea to pursue peace. But although he preached peace, Mitsuo had no clue uh, to the source of power that could generate such a peace. On a trip to Tokyo, Mitsuo was handed a pamphlet entitled, I Was a Prisoner of Japan. This was written by former prisoner of war, Jacob Deshazer. Locked in a Japanese prison for 40 months, Deshazer almost went insane because of the brutality of the guards, but he happened to get a copy of the Bible in solitary confinement, and after reading it, became a Christian. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Shazer found that his hate for the Japanese had turned to love. After the war, he returned to Japan to tell the people there about the love of Jesus Christ. And part of his witness included distributing tracts that told of his miraculous rebirth. From that tract, Mitsuo discovered a source of power that could turn hatred into peace, a power that he was looking for. He bought a copy of the New Testament in Japanese. Well, by the time he had read about Jesus' crucifixion in Luke 23, Mitsuo had trusted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. A simple gospel tract had played a vital role in leading to Christ, the commander of the Japanese planes that attacked Pearl Harbor. Wow, and this is a true testimony. And in a moment, you'll see a picture of this Japanese commander along with the Shazer. We have a picture we'll put up in just a moment. But as I said, God uses gospel tracts. And where those gospel tracts go and the effect they'll have, we don't know today, but God knows. And that's why we're sharing this video with you today, hoping and praying that you also will do like God does, use gospel tracts. I'm Mr. C here at Pilgrim Fundamental Baptist Press. Thank you kindly. Now look at this picture, and then y'all have a great day in the Lord.